Well, that's what's been going on in Formula One, clearly an emotive subject. Um, Toto's just joining us here. Should we just step forward a bit to move away from the engine noise? Talking of engines, we heard in the news there, Toto, that Bernie and John getting together to discuss budget engines, if you like, because customer engines are so expensive. And a reported 20 million euros for a customer package, that's just too much money, isn't it? That sounds like a lot of money, and it's actually not the, the real figure. The real figure is considerably lower, uh, but I think there are various agendas at the moment floating around, and uh, we accept them. When you say that that's not the real figure, what kind of figures are we looking at for a customer package? You know, in, a, in the real world, you can't speak about the cost of engines because it's just anti-competitive, but the number is considerably lower, and the difference compared to the old V8 engines with curves to the modern hybrid engines is less than 20% more expensive. A bit further forward, because it is very noisy outside this garage. So, so um, we know that there's great rivalry and tension between your two drivers, but isn't that the case between you and Nicky with regard to the difference of opinion about the supply of engines to Red Bull? No, not at all. I have more differences with you than I have with Nicky and That's we, understandable, uh, but, but I'm we talking have, about Nicky We haven't here. got any. No, we, we act in perfect harmony. Um, we've been in the, on the journey together since three years, and that has been working very well. You see that with the results on track. Uh, we are capable of having uh, uh, discussions sometimes if we agree to disagree, and I think this is perfectly reasonable. But uh, the final objectives be objective between the two of us is absolutely equal. We want to win races and championships. But you did undermine him, didn't you, by overruling on the uh, Red Bull engine supply, which he had agreed with Didi? Yeah, you want to s s stitch it up a bit. <laughs> So bring it back to this weekend, it seemed to me in Mexico that because you had such a lead, you could take a safety pit stop, you could neutralize the race. And, you know, I felt personally we lost an opportunity to see a little bit more wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. You're a racer, I know you've got a business to run, you need just a one-two finish nice and safe. But Brazil, if you guys have got enough of a lead, can they just do their own thing in strategy or are you always going to defer to the lead car in this situation? We have a responsibility towards the team. Animal. Uh, towards the team. Jim. <laughs> an animal. It no, was an animal. Just, so he was getting bitten okay. by something, as opposed Nikki. to me. Nikki. <laughs> Nikki just bit me in the finger. Um, I lost it now. No, uh, as we have the, the, the primary objective, of course, to win races with the team. But then also we have a responsibility towards Formula One. And in Mexico, it wouldn't have changed a lot because they were running behind each other. It's very difficult to overtake if you're in the same car. So even if we would have let them race each other with the same set of tires or make the safety pit stop, which we did, it wouldn't have made a difference in terms of the excitement around the racing. But they're allowed to race. I mean, I know you always want to get a one-two and a safe one-two, and I understand that. But at this stage of the season, does that really matter, getting a one-two, if we can see super exciting racing between those two? We always allowed them to race. Um, uh, since the beginning of 2013, we had the philosophy, and it was not always easy that they had an equal chance and an equal go on, on, on every race. It caused us a little bit of grey hair uh, sometime. <laughs> Can't see any. More, more you, actually. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, I knew you'd come back and, to me. And, um, and this is the same, the same philosophy. Uh, one day, maybe it could end up in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a situation which is not pleasant for the team, but we want to maintain that. Okay, well, we love seeing racing. So, Toto, thank you very much.